You know, faith is an interesting word. With both secular and religious meaning. Confidence or trust in a person or a thing. I guess I think about flying on an airplane. I haven't done it in a long time. I know I have to hear this, but if I don't ever have to fly again, it'd be okay with me. But I, you have faith. Scott travels a lot. You have faith in that thing's going to fly. <laughs> you know? And, you know, so, and it does. It's amazing. Our faith can also be, believe, it's based essentially belief that is not based on proof. Now, I've talked in dictionary.com, various different uh, things. Belief that's not based on proof. Something you can't prove, but you believe it. Yeah. That's essentially what it says. Belief in a God or a religious system. Now, I said a God, you know, taking our aspect out of the Christian aspect out of it. But believing in a God, you know, the, the Hindu faith. The Buddhist faith. Also, belief in a code of ethics or, stand, or a standard. Now, from a Christian perspective, we are, if you are a believer in Jesus Christ, and I guess if you attend church, you know, you are of the Christian faith. And we are United Methodists in particular. So we are of the Methodist faith, faith. Now you hear the term denomination more often, but they still say we are of the Methodist faith. We adhere to assert the teachings of John West. From a biblical perspective, we believe that certain things did and will happen by faith. That's going to be the focus of this message. It happens by faith. Of the 378 biblical references to faith, or faithfulness, you know, you look, and other translations show a few more, uh, the translation I use, and of those 378 references, I'm going, to, we're going to, I'm going to read next to you the Hebrews 11.1, 1, which is probably the most famous of the faith scriptures and gives us the best definition of it. it may, in some cases, it may be the only definition in, in the Bible, but in Hebrews, faith, one, Hebrews 11, 1, faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the certainty of things not seen. Let that sink in. Two key words. We got faith. We already know that's a key word. Assurance and certainty. Faith is based on assurance and or certainty of things that you really can't prove or things you hope for for a, a permanent job that 9 to 5, 8 to 5, whatever, Monday through Friday, there's nothing, you know, you have stayed true to that belief, and I know you, that you're not going to give up with it, uh, you know, you continue to pray. Six years. Six years. If you read on in Hebrews 11, and I encourage you to, to do that, that's considered, uh, I, some scholars call it the hall of fame of faith. And you'll see, you'll read with some very interesting instances of faith, where it happens by faith. I just picked out a few of them. By faith, Abel, remember he was one of the sons of Adam and Eve, had a brother named Cain. Cain was sort of a mean one. So mean he killed him. But Abel, by faith, presented the most acceptable sacrifice to God. He, he obeyed God even to the point of death from his own brother. By faith, Noah built a big old boat far from the ocean. Immense ridicule. Probably some 
some within his own family. You know, I can't, I didn't read back through the whole story. But Noah had faith. God said, you said, build a boat. It's going to rain a whole lot. You need a boat. A big old boat. A ship. By faith, Abraham left his home and went to an unknown land. Everything's all good here. Got a business going. Rich man. Doing good. I want you to go on off to this land. Keep on going. And I'll tell you when you get there. But by faith, Abraham, as we say down south, struck out. Struck, not struck out like a baseball, but struck out, headed to a destination. By faith, Abraham was willing to sacrifice his son of promise that they believed by faith would be born. By faith, Joel, Joseph continued to be loyal to his family even after they sold him into slavery. By faith, the Israelites sprinkled blood, painted blood, however you want to do, do it, on the, around their door because they were told by faith that the angel of death was coming and was going to get the firstborn and they took that blood and put it around believing by faith that God would protect them. The blood of the sacrificial lamb did protect them. By faith they believed that. By faith Moses parted the Red Sea. Uh, you can't be Charlton has the word tonight. Sorry, I just watched the, the most recent Christian Bale, Exodus, Gods and Kings. You know, with that, that might have been more like it happened. But my goodness, when Charlton Heston speaks as Moses and, and holds out that staff over that water and the wind and Cecil will beat the mill and back in the day, didn't Cecil beat the mill? Anyway, and the water come back and all that. My goodness, but could you imagine standing there? The army behind you, the sea in front of you. You gotta have some faith somewhere, don't you? You have no choice but to have faith. By faith, Israel marched around and around and around seven times Jericho. The walls came down. God told them to go blow a horn and march around and do it again and again and again. Now, you know, I can say, what? I can't even, you know, I'm tired of blowing this horn. Take a lot of, you know, I'm tired of that. But they kept, they, they believed by faith. And the walls didn't come down. By faith, Gideon took on an army much greater than his. Pick you an army. Get you some men. You know, I won't go through the whole story, but that, you got two men. That, no, you got went went up there a little bit more. I think he ended up with three hundred against ten thousand. I don't know, like, something like that. But you know, Gideon is example of not having faith in some ways, but he was faithful to God and he believed what God told him. By faith, Daniel survived in the lion's den. By faith, Jonah survived in the stomach of a whale for three days. By faith, Peter walked on the water. Now what about us? What about us? That's all biblical references of the many men. By faith, and maybe I shouldn't put do we, or I don't know, or I, but I'm going to assume. By faith, we believe the Bible is the true word of God. Now, y'all give me some amens on that if you agree with me on that. Amen. By faith, we believe that God created the universe and all that's within it. Amen. By faith, we believe that Jesus Christ died for our sins and that we were released from our sin debt. Amen. By faith, we believe that Jesus Christ rose from the dead and is now sitting at the right hand of God interceding on our behalf. Amen. By faith, we believe that Christians will be taken up into the air someday when God, when Christ comes back for His church. 
by faith. We believe that Jesus Christ will come back someday and finally defeat the, defeat the forces of evil once and for all. short of having a million dollars. And that's like, you know, and hey, I said it jokingly, but also, I guess a little bit, I give myself a little bit of credit, I have a little bit of faith. But, and I said that to other people, you know, I said, yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, that's what I got. But somebody, I and didn't walk it through, but my Bible was in there, I thought somebody went went Stuck that up under my Bible and it's trying to slip away. And I went over to Larry and said, I don't know if I said, what's this or whatever, but if we talk, he said, here's the first dollar. Here's the first dollar. And this is it. This is this is the dollar. It is the dollar. You know, I took it on the way home. I said, man, there's a message in that. <coughs> you know, you got it. There's, there's, and there's all maybe other messages in I may be a part two of this. But you got to start somewhere. I, you know, and I think he said, yeah, well, now we're just $999,999 short. Is that what? 
Is that right? Okay. I said, okay, yeah. You know what? I can handle that. You know, I can handle that. I can, I can believe for something up there. I can believe for a million dollars when they're, you know, I look around and just, it, I just don't see it happening. But what's the, the, the assurance, the certainty of things hoped for? I can believe that can happen. You don't know what my Bethlehem Methodist Church over there in Bethlehem does. Look at that big church. You know, look at that big church. You know, somebody sold a, I a, 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 either a horse or a bull. It was worth a lot of money and donated the money and all that. And I don't know if anybody's got any prize horses or bulls that they're going to sell and donate the money. But uh, the point is, and it was not, it's not about the money. You know, it's not about the money, but you know, something like that, you gotta start somewhere. You gotta start somewhere. You know, I'll be glad to have, praise God for a driveway and a pavilion up there. That may be the first dollar of that. And others have said, we gotta think in the trustees meet, we said, well, we gotta think about what we're building, because if we build something else, we don't want that to be in the way. We don't want to tear something down. So the point is, we're thinking in those terms. There's nothing wrong with thinking about things like that. You know, this could be the first of many dollars if we truly believe it happens by faith. But not for material things. Here, this is not about the money. It's about having faith. It's about having that faith. You know, and you've got to start somewhere. Faith starts somewhere. But it's about spiritual things. It's about a growing and vibrant church. I have, I have never given up faith that this can't be it. And it's a growing and vibrant church now. So I don't think it's a, it can grow more and be more vibrant. Any church could be that. Any, that's any church. We close with this. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. We ought always to give thanks to God for you, brethren, as it is only fitting because your faith is greatly enlarged. And the love, and the love of, the, of each one of you toward one another is grows even greater. Therefore, we ourselves speak proudly of you among the churches of God for your perseverance in the faith in the midst of all your persecution and afflictions which you endure. Our faith is growing. I see it in us all. It is growing. As is our love for one another. We can be proud of this. I'm proud of it. You can be proud of it too. You should be proud of it. You should be proud of it. That we are growing in the faith. We are getting along. We're getting things done. I like to brag on y'all. I mean, I'm going to a church, uh, uh, connection group meeting next Sunday. You know, people come up and ask me questions. <coughs> How y'all doing this? Ooh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, got a good group of people. We try to be faithful to uh, what God wants us to do. Yeah, we wish it maybe, maybe you know, wish we had a little more of this, a little more of that, but hey, that's, that's every church. Every church. Thank God for what we have. It happens. By faith. It truly does happen by faith. And thank y'all for your faith. You know, I said this. I, I think this church has great things in store for it. I've always felt that way. I have that faith seven years. I, I have it. I have it. Going into the eight There's going to be something great in this church.
great when somebody gets saved. It's great when somebody's baptized. It's great when somebody's healed. So it may be small great. Does that make sense? <laughs> they, uh, we tend to think great is great being and all that. But, you know, it, it, it's, it's great when you see the little ones coming up here. Let me come up here. It's great when you see the, the little ones. Boy, just singing away. It's great when you see the little one when, when granddaughter singing with grandpa. It's great when somebody says, hey, here's the first dollar of the, of the next whatever we need. It's great when, when somebody comes along and says, we lose one drummer and another one comes up and says, yeah, I'll play the drums for you. It's great when you see his girlfriend and his mother. 